Hey guys, Dave, Northeast Edible. What we're looking right here is a couple of chestnuts and then those little insects right there are the larvae of the chestnut weevil. So I cut open um, the chestnut here and you can see those guys were in it. Okay, so a telltale sign of your chestnuts having a weevil damage is that little pinhole there. Um, it's about the size of a, a pen or a pencil tip. Um, and those weevils will come out and they'll actually damage the inside of the nut. So it's it's not good. So if you're eating them, that's kind of what you'd cut into. I cut into this nut here and that's kind of what it looks like. So <clears throat> if you're picking your own chestnuts, you want to pick them daily to avoid the proliferation of these weevils. But then also once you pick them, if you want to get rid of them for good, you heat them up, you heat the nuts up to about 120 degrees for about 15, 20 minutes, and that'll kill the weevil. Um, so you won't have any, any worms inside your nuts. Um, if you pick your nuts daily, you wanna look for a nice hard nut, no soft spots, and no holes in the nut. So um, some of these here, are some that I they pulled out that I saw some soft spots or some damage, um, you know, pinholes like that, pinholes like this. And obviously, if you break open your chestnut and it looks real damaged like that, moldy and just pretty gross inside, you'll probably find some of those weevils in there right there. Um, so Dave Northeast Edible, it is chestnut season. Best practices to avoid the weevils is to pick every day and then discard the nuts that that um, that look bad. Um, don't just throw them on the ground, either wrap them up or uh, feed them to your livestock or something like like uh, pigs or chickens after you crunch them after you break them um, the chickens will eat the the weevils but they they have a hard time cracking the nuts unless they're open for them so uh, dave northeast edible taking all questions on chestnuts and um, berries fruit trees all that good stuff take care